Fora TV. The world is thinking. At Princeton, uh, I sponsored a conference at which one of the speakers was Bill Bishop of the Austin American Statesman, who did a series of articles in which he concluded uh, from his studies that Americans, in fact, self-select their locations and the magazines they read and everything else. So liberals don't, don't know any other con people who aren't liberals, and conservatives don't know people who aren't conservatives. Uh, and I will tell you, you know, some of my experience has been along that way, uh, that even when you have states that are so-called purple, like Missouri, it's because the number of red precincts equal the number of blue precincts, and that people are divided that way. Uh, are, are we divided that way or, uh, or not? You, you found it to be not so bad. We're divided like any democracy is divided. Uh, we should be divided. It is perfectly appropriate for people to have different points of view. I, I think the question requires compared to what? So let me suggest two things. Compared to our history? No. Civil War, even you know, uh, the 1920s and the arguments over, uh, we had a culture war in the United States in the latter part of the 19th and the early part of the 20th century. And it was between Protestants and Catholics. And it was really pretty ugly. Nothing we've had now seems to me to be rank at that kind of level. Certainly, obviously not the Civil War, but even uh, some of our less intense conflicts. So compared to our past, there's something almost trivial about calling this a culture war. I, I object so much to the idea of calling it a culture war because it demeans the meaning of war. We're not out there killing each other. We should call it simply democracy rather than a culture war. Now compared to any other country, uh, com compared to rather than our history, to any other country. You know, uh, in all of our elections, one thing I do when I look at the red states and the blue states is look at the last election in Canada. Everyone thinks of Canada as the most stable, peaceful, you know, normal country in the world. They have exactly the same pattern. The coasts are more liberal, the center is more conservative, and so on. So I, I just think we need to get a grip on these things uh, and, and not get all hysteria, uh, hysterical about it. Now, uh, even religion which is my main field of interest. I mean, this is where we're supposed to be so deeply polarized. I don't see it at all. I actually see almost a common American religion. I, I argue in one of my books that we're sort of all evangelicals now. Oh, that, that, that the idea of personalization, the idea of individualism and religion, which conservative Protestants brought to this country, has been adopted by all of it. I teach at a Catholic university. I, you know, even, there's, there's even that kind of spirit of a personal relationship there. There is in the Jewish community as well. And all of these long-term things, I'm on the optimistic camp. My earlier remarks about the immigration bill might have suggested otherwise, but I agree ultimately with Senator Specter. We're going to have to work this one out. Uh, that's our heritage. That's, that's what we do.